how secure can a person ever be if they believe their security comes from something other than thought, moment to moment? And it kind of nailed it down for me. It made me think of what you were saying earlier, Jillian. That as long as I think my security comes from anything other than thought playing out in the moment, I'm going to be looking outside myself for it. And actually, that's the epitome of neediness and victimhood which I can say to you guys, I wouldn't say it to a fresh group that's just through the door, but that's anywhere in my life where I'm needy or victim-y or whiny or anything like that, it's because I think my security is in some way dependent on something other than thought playing out in the moment. Kush, did, uh, uh, Jillian, did Jillian have the microphone, please? I think this is a really inf interesting conversation. Um, um, if I can give you an example, Johnny, um, having been through that losing somebody I love, yes, when it happened, I was bereft, but it didn't ruin my life. And I reacted very differently to, you know, we all think about, oh, this lovely person. And I was putting my happiness, some of my happiness on my husband. You know, and what on earth would I do if, you know, if the worst case scenario ever happened? And I'd have those insecure thoughts, as we probably all do, from time to time. But when it actually happened, I didn't react the way I thought I would. You know, the world may have stopped for a little while for me, but suddenly it started again. And I actually found an inner strength that I didn't even know existed. I found my independence again. I found my coping mechanisms and doing what I had to do helped me get through it. But it was like I, I had faced my worst case scenario, if you like, and I was still standing. So we may all have this idea of what we think would, would react and how things would be, but we don't know. It is the unknown. We really, really don't know until it happens to us, you know, with breaking a leg, whatever the circumstance is. So. That is so, so true. You know, your security can, ne can never come from anything else. It's always got to come from right inside you. Um, yeah. And not only does it have to come from there, it, it's not even a have to, it just does. Yes. It just does. A anywhere, anywhere in your life and anywhere in the lives of anyone you know where it looks like their security is coming from something other than their thinking in the moment, it's a trick of the mind. It's an optical illusion. It's an auditory illusion. It's a, it's a mental illusion. It's a magic trick. There's this uh, guy who Pete put me on to called Alan Allen, who was an uh, easy to remember name, Alan Allen, uh, who was a close up magician. And he said uh, words to the effect of misdirection is establishing a train of thought in the, in the mind of your audience based on a false assumption. Well, the idea that our security can come from anywhere other than thought playing out in the moment is a false assumption. It just, it doesn't work like that. It, it doesn't work that way. But if you think it works that way, then you can get totally hoodwinked. And we all get hoodwinked because it looks like it does, it seems like it does, some of the time, a lot of the time, all the time for some people, but it never works that way. It, it never works that way. It's always coming from thought in the moment. There are no exceptions. There's not a single exception. <laughs>